Hello everyone, I wanted to start this video by thanking you all for the incredible amount of support and appreciation you've shown me after I released the Woven Storm cover. I'm a really great fan of The Witcher 3 video game, I've played it countless hours with all its DLCs and apart from its story, its well interwoven side quests and its gameplay, what really made me appreciate the whole package was the overall love and care that the developers had put into it. It's a game that feels constantly alive, not only because of the vivid colors, the coherent display of village and city life, of course in a fantasy setting, or the crushing weight of the choices you require to make whose consequences uh, are even more unpredictable than of those that haunt your real life, it's, if it, that's possible, but also for the constant sense of surprise that prods you to look further just when you've come to think that you've seen it all. Personally, it's just the same sense of wonder and surprise that I get after I read a great piece of scientific literature. You know, you connect some dots and then you realize that there's still a lot more to see. For me, this sense of surprise was also fueled by the countless references and hints that a game throws at you. Even though it's quite common for a game to have easter eggs relating to literature, history and art, what really struck me about The Witcher 3 is that I've seldom seen scientific literature references in a fantasy game, but this game has it. So, in replaying The Witcher 3 I've decided to collect all the scientific references I, can fi I could find and share them with you. You gave me quite a start. Now, in the side quest A Towerful of Mice, the sorceress Kira Mates asks Geralt for a favor and sends him to inquire about what has happened to Fake Isle. And why is it so fake? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's called Fike Isle. <laughs> so, when Geralt arrives at the tower, he finds out that the place is haunted by the ghosts of the people who died in a peasant revolt against the former Lord of Velen, Viserad, or Viserad. He decided to abandon Kraut's perch, locking himself with his family and some personal collaborators inside a tower in Fike Isle, in an attempt to escape from the Nilfgaardian army that was threatening the whole region at the time. The starving peasants, however, uh, gathered thinking that the uh, lord was hiding a great amount of supplies within the tower and proceeded to assault it. Eventually it succeeded in breaching the defenses and killing its inhabitants. Much to their dismay, however, they didn't find many supplies but they managed to inadvertently free the rats on which the court mage Alexander was experimenting, as he was trying to find a cure for the Catriona plague. Now, when I first read the documents found in Alexander's laboratory, they Kinda rang a bell. Uh, at first I thought the game was hinting at a Canadian psychologist Bruce Alexander who in the late 70s uh, experimented with drugs and drugs and addiction. Dr. Bruce Alexander set up a rut park in which he provided the rodents with an environment full of stimuli where it was easy for them to form cooperative bonds, resources were not scarce and there was a lot of room for the rats to roam and mate. Now, Dr. Alexander wanted to test if there were other factors that contributed to addiction rather than just drugs themselves. Um, so, and there were formed other three control groups along the first one. Uh, the CC group was made of rats that had been isolated in small cages after 22 days of age and restrained to their cages until 80 days of age. The CP group was composed of rats that followed the same procedure until 65 days of age uh, when they were moved to Red Park. The rats in PC group lived in a Red Park until 65 days of age and were later moved into individual cages instead. Alexander's hypothesis was that addiction develops mostly where there's lack of stimuli that provide basic needs that a social animal requires in order to thrive and prosper. If you ever had an accident after which you were hospitalized, chances are you were given an opiate drug to lessen the pain in the early stages. Maybe the treatment even went on for several days, but when I admitted you and you were sent back to your loving family, when things went back to normal, when you started working again, meeting with friends and enjoying your hobbies, you hardly felt the urge to experience that high again. You take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? So, in his experiment he introduced both uh, in Red Park and in the individual cages a water dispenser laced with morphine and another one containing just tap water. The cage rats group CC and PC uh, took the morphine instantly. The rats in Red Park resisted the morphine water, they would try it occasionally but they showed a statistically significant preference for the plain water. The most interesting thing was that the uh, CP group, the rats who were 
brought up in cages but moved later to Red Park before the experiment began. They rejected the morphine solution when it was stronger, but as it became sweeter and more diluted, they began to drink almost as much as the rats that had lived in the cages throughout the experiment. Now, this experiment has shown empirically that rats did fall prey to addiction only when they were deprived of meaningful social, re social relations, when they were starved, when they were confined into tight spaces, basically when they were not allowed to live the fancy rat life. <laughs> Now, after some more researches, it was clear to me that the most fitting uh, reference was probably another one, and the Mage Alexander was probably an homage to the Swiss bacteriologist Alexander Yersin, who was credited for isolating the pathogen responsible for, the, for one of the worst plagues that human faced in history. Now, although you might think that I'm referring to Fortnite, it's actually the Black Plague, <laughs> renamed in 1944 Yersinia pestis. Yersin was working as a physician in Indochina by the uh, early 1890. Uh, at the time, Indochina was a French colony spanning over today's La Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia. In uh, 1894, the Pasteur Institute sent Yersin to Hong Kong to investigate on an outbreak of a Manchurian pneumonic disease. When he arrived there, he was denied access to English hospitals, so he had to develop his research in a hut. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Now. There have been some disputes regarding the discovery, with some crediting Kizato uh, Shi... Kizato Shi... Kizato Shi... This guy here! As the first one that found the bacterium involved in the disease, but uh, eventually Yersin's claim was validated, and he also, also discovered the presence of the same bacterium in mice, thus underlining the role of rats uh, as a vector for the bubonic plague. Now, unlike his less fortunate counterpart in The Witcher 3, <laughs> Dr. Alexander Yersin was well appreciated by the local population in Indochina. He also participated in the creation of the first medical university of Vietnam in 1902, which he then directed until 1904. Now, I hope you have appreciated uh, this, this, this video. I'll be releasing more videos uh, on this topic as soon as I discover more scientific references in the game. Feel free to submit what you've found so far, and I'll be happy to integrate it in my research. So, that was all, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye. What now, you piece of filth? <laughs>